The difference between the innate and adaptive immunity is not because of the cells playing the main roles in each system, but it's how they recognize a pathogen. While the adaptive immunity recognizes a pathogen by its specific antigen, the innate immunity rely on other means, such as the Pathogen Associated Molecular Pattern, or PAMP. PAMP, or Pathogen Associated Molecular Pattern, are only found in pathogens such as the viruses and bacteria. They are not normally found inside the body. Lipos lipopolysaccharides, lipoproteins, peptidoglycans, and lipotechoic acids are examples are some examples of PAMP. Now these PAMPs can be components of the cell wall of a particular pathogen, the flagella, the tail of a particular pathogen, even the RNA and DNA of that pathogen. But PAMP are actually found in both pathogenic and non-pathogenic microorganisms. And so people debate about this and the word microbes is substituted for pathogens so that people know it's ref referring to bad stuff, M-A-M-P. But, but for this sake, we will just use P-A-M-P because we know what we're talking about and it is used more often anyways. Now these P-A-M-Ps are essential for the survival for all pathogens and they are not found in any eukaryotic organisms and so can be identified in the body as a foreign substance which needs to be eliminated through the immune response. Now the immune cells can identify these pathogen associated molecular patterns because the innate immune cells have special receptors to identify them. So here we have a PAMP and the receptor for PAMP is referred to as PRR pathogen recognition receptors. Now there are three types of PRRs and are found in different types of immune cells. So PRRs can be found intracellularly inside the cell, extracellularly on the cell surface, and secreted PRRs which are usually used for tagging. But essentially, all these three types of PRRs trigger the innate immune response and function to opsonize the pathogen, activate the complement protein, phagocytize the pathogen, activate the inflammatory mediators, secrete interferons, cytokines, pro-inflammatory cytokines, and induce apoptosis if that cell is infected or whatnot. So essentially, it triggers the immune response and the inflammatory response. So let's take a look, closer look at these different types of PRRs. Now the extracellular PRRs are found on the cell membrane. This of course means even inside membrane organelles. So here we have a macrophage with its nucleus and lysosome. And here we have a PRR which is able to bind to a pathogen associated molecular pattern of a pathogen. So for example, the cell wall. Now it has two, well it has many options, but we'll just talk about two options. And all of them depend on what type of PRR that particular immune cell has. So, so one of the options it can do is that it can engulf the pathogen and release its lysosomal content into it, the acidic content, destroying that particular pathogen. Now these membrane bound PRRs are usually carried out, which, which destroys and engulfs the pathogen, are carried out by mannose and scavenger receptors. On the other hand, the macrophage can also just send a signal to the nucleus to secrete cytokines or interferons if the virus has invaded the cell. And these signaling membrane receptors are carried out by the famous toll like receptors. And there are many types of these receptors, but we're, these are the main players. So next we have the intracellular PRRs, which is inside the cell. Now here again we have a macrophage with its PRR and pathogen. 
Now this cell now this cell can also be infected because the pathogen is inside the cell. So these intracellular receptors can cause the cell to also release cytokines or other various chemokines and also or if it's infected it will it can die. Now these intracellular receptors are mainly no, known as the node NOD like receptors. There are others however. Now the last ones are the secreted PROs which are secreted by the liver and by the immune cells. But after they are secreted they have no relation to these cells and are part of a different system. There are many types of secreted receptors but we are mainly looking at the complementary receptors which are usually secreted by the liver which induces and these complementary receptors induce the complement cascade and you can watch a video on this complement cascade which is very important in the innate immunity so this concludes the overview um, we will look more into uh, the NOD like receptors, the node like receptors the toll like receptors and also the scavenger and the manos receptors So this just briefly looked at an overview of PAMP, Pathogen Associated Molecular Pattern, and PRR, the Pathogen Recognition Receptors. Please click on the links of these different receptors to learn more about them. Thank you. Please comment.